All right, boat, you've been in here for too long. Time for you to get the engine on and get out of this garage. So one problem I have, as the top comes up, this inner channel here grabs the outer little spot of the little brackets. Really annoying to get the top button off. You really gotta sit there and fiddle with everyone. So they came up with a genius idea to install these little plugs to go on the end to keep that from happening. So we'll see how well it works. engine is on. I uh, forgot to put some bolts in here so I took them back out added them back in. When I was testing the boat the engine was having a lot of water splash back into uh, a little transom area here so I moved it up a hole. We'll see if that fixes it. If not I'll go up another hole. If not I'll go up another hole and take it from there. Cables fit just fine. Battery length as far as the cables I put on this motor they worked great too fit right up into the uh, the battery hole I made. So when I get it out of the garage and I can move around the boat a little more, I'll put the battery back into the seat, hook the cables up, make sure the uh, tilt and trim are working okay, which I'm sure it will. Make sure the steering's okay, nothing binds up. Tighten any cables I gotta do, and then tow it down to the water, see how it goes. So let's get this thing the rest of the way out of the garage. Also, the uh, driveway kinda ends, I don't know, 30 feet from the end of the door. So I can't pull it straight out because the boat and the ranger and the ranger's then off a little cliff. So I gotta pull it up by hand, turn it, and then hook up the ranger. So it's, it's kind of a nightmare. But the engine works as a great counterweight, so it's not that bad. That's one of the reasons I wanna get this engine on. Makes life easier to move it.
Well, the gauges are working. If this one is accurate, we're idling a little high. At 400 RPM higher than it should. Uh, trim gauge works, but it's uh, not very well. I think the cinder needs a little bit of a uh, little bit of love. But for the most part, it's fine. some crappy boat I bought. Oh yeah? Yeah, I bought a boat for the outboard. Yeah. And I was cutting it up. And that was still in it. Works pretty well.
Ugh. It is siding any better. <clears throat> that well. So, uh, the boat did pretty well. Um, the water splashing back into the boat, that wasn't solved. But I think I know what the problem is. So, uh, we'll be addressing that next video, hopefully. Um, also, the most common question of what did this cost? Uh, that'll be answered here in the next, uh, probably the next video, too, hopefully. Yeah, I know this video is a little short, but, you know, I took the boat out today. Now, let me tell you, I just had a couple of little things to do on that boat. It took me 11 hours to get that boat into the water. A lot of work today. Oh, it's it's Friday. I actually don't know what date it is, but it's Friday. Just look at the upload date. Hopefully it'll upload tonight, not tomorrow morning, but I digress. Um, if you've never used an air riveter, let me tell you, this thing is awesome. I've had it for many, many years. I bought it at this closing boat shop. It was on a uh, shelf, and some dude was, bought everything on the shelf. And I was like, hey, what are you doing with that? Because he wasn't moving it. I don't want that. You want it? You can have it. Like, All right. Never touched it. Hooked it up. It worked absolutely perfect. I used it in a couple of things around the boat. It is amazing. That thing was awesome. Makes, like I said, it makes me like rivets. I want to use rivets. That thing works incredibly well. So the next video, I hope to address my uh, water splashing problem. I won't be able to get any metal over the uh, weekend here, especially with Labor Day coming up. With any luck, they'll be open, but doubt it. So I need to get some metal. need to do some, uh, some fixes. Um, next video, I plan on hopefully breaking down the cost. The video after that will be hopefully the engine... Repair videos, there's two of those, one for the power trim and tilt rebuild, one for the fuel system, oh, third, the lower unit, so. Just how I went through the engine. I know some people won't care about that, but that's a lot of what I do on this channel. I really don't want to leave that boat outside for very long. I mean, yeah, you put a cover over it, yeah, it's cool and all, but inside a air-conditioned garage, that's where that boat belongs, in my opinion. So, uh... It won't fit on my side here, so I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to build a building in the backyard to, to hold my boat, so stay tuned for that one.